Hi guys, this will be the third one in my little series of teardowns of electrical items my daughter gave me. She was going to throw them away, so she said I could take them down first, or tear them down first. Right, this one is a Pacific electric hand blender. Uh, model something or other that I can't quite read. 230 volt, 50 hertz, and I can't quite read how many watts it is. It looks like 100 watt. So. picture of the side of it before I take it apart. So we've got a five position switch there and turbo and then that bit's the bit that ejects the mixing bits. Okay I've had a little peek in there and it needs a special screwdriver, one with a I don't know if the camera will pick that up, with a slot in the middle of it. It's like a flathead screwdriver, but they've got a little sort of dimple thing in the middle of it to make it difficult. Can you see that? Hang on. Right, are we coming apart? No. Okay. Well, that one's quite clear what it is. HD 4535H, 230 volt AC. And you can see the gearbox on there quite clearly. But I'll get it out so we can see it a bit clearer. Uh, what am going to do with this lot? Quite a sweet smell. Chocolate, I think. I think. She's been making chocolate cakes with it. Knowing my daughter, that is quite likely. Because my grandsons love their chocolate cake. Right, that's our five position switch. Five wires going to it. I would assume what they do is they go into a different number of coils in there. So you get a different amount of power depending on how many coils are involved.
what else have we got? Oh, that's a handy little switch. It's only momentary though. I could do with it. I could literally today I could do with an on-off switch like that. Not a sliding switch. Nice big diode on there, heavy duty one. N5 say that again, N5408 diode. In case you didn't see the other videos, this isn't a repair video, it was working. I've been given it because my daughter was throwing it away and I'm just taking it apart to have a look inside. I'll keep that switch. Right, motor, little fan on it, it's just a push fit, twenty two K volt. Hmm. Oh. So there's our motor. I don't know if we can actually see that moving. So I'd spin that round, these are turning. So that's all we've got, just a direct drive motor, uh, worm gear in the middle there, driving those two gears. And on the end of that, you'll have your mixing. Um, whatever they're called. Yes. Don't that will come apart easily. And screws on the end there. Try and reach around the side of the I don't know why I'm trying to do that, to be honest.
It's tight. more to look at. So we've got the brushes in there, spring loaded. Carbon, I assume, or graphite. That one's well worn. Looked like it slipped out of position. Nice coil there that might be useful for something, I suppose. With those different inputs to it for the different amounts of power. Yeah, I might save that. Just wondering if I can get that fan blade off. There we go. Can't think of any use for it, but yeah. now can we get these off? Right, so now we can see our worm gear. Got this driving. Yeah. Have to hold it in place, yeah, I can't do that with one hand. Can't think of any use for keeping them. Technically I could try unwinding the wire on there, but I don't think I ever would. I do like the look of that. So there we go. That's the inside of whatever it was called. Pacific Hand Mixer. Blender and Hand Mixer, wasn't that? Okay, I'll have to tidy up now.
Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.